All right, what's up, everybody? Project Ozone 3, this is Lone Debater 7, and uh, yeah, we're gonna get started here and uh, try out this questing map. Played the Project Ozone 2, really enjoyed it, but going through, looks like we need to get some wood, apple, wooden crook, pretty easy. But to start off with, I'm gonna take this ability bottle, move it, and then shift click to get some stone going, because that's what we need. Yeah, this is gonna be the start for pretty much the next set of videos, mainly because in order to advance, you need to have cobblestone that you can then hammer down into gravel, sand, dust, everything like that to get resources. But you take these pebbles and uh, go ahead, shift click and uh, get some cobs. And we're gonna just build out this platform a little bit, make it a little easier before we plant our tree. Um, that way we can go ahead and not lose any of those apples that may fall, saplings, things like that, because it's no good when you lose drops off your tree. But just gonna build this out a little bit more, and uh, yeah, but really looking forward to this series. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. I, I don't know, I've always enjoyed playing these questing mod packs, and uh, this one has a lot to it, so should be a lot of fun. Um, but we're just gonna get some more pebbles here real quick, get going, um, that way everything's ready to roll, but if you uh, have tried Project Ozone before, you know that these packs take forever and it's all very grindy, but uh, that's what makes it fun, uh, a little bit more enjoyable than vanilla for me anyway. Um, so yeah, we're just going to go ahead, take these, get some more cobblestone going so we can build out this platform some point I'll probably change this out so it's not as ugly, but it's a start, so we'll get this done. Um, hopefully get these quests knocked out pretty quick. It is cool that we start with the diamonds. Um, that way you can go if you shift. Uh, it's like using bone meal. It's pretty sweet. There is vein miner. Um, no, wrong key. Let's try that again. Uh, no, one more time. Let me let me just check the control here. Where's my vein miner? Um, normally it's the grave key for me, but let's see if I can find it. Um, if I can spell. Well, no. Um, well, this is fun. First, first challenge, figuring out where my vein miner is, because it's it very critical with this it makes it go a lot faster when you can uh, essentially vein mine what it does is any blocks that are the same if you mine one it'll mine all of them that are touching so it really speeds things up um, you know when you're hammering getting wood leaves whatever it may be um, if you have to go through a lot of blocks vein miner makes it a lot better it uses food but you know it's a it's a worthy exchange so let's see, um, yeah, I know, super fun looking at my controls, but uh, yeah, we need to get Vein Miner configured. I'd recommend you do this if you're going to play as well, just because uh, it is imperative. It, without Vein Miner, you will be spending tons and tons of time that you don't have to. Um, that's why they put it in the game, to make it a little bit better, because it is grindy anyway, but you, this kind of cuts down on the grind a little bit. So yeah, I, I'd recommend using Vein Miner. Definitely a A plus rec from uh, Lord Vader 7. But uh, yeah, we'll see. Um, I don't know if I can find this or not. <sighs> so much fun. Uh, whatever, let's try this again. See if we got this. We should be good. Yeah, I'll just go back and uh, try it again. Um, oh, by the way, I am using Bandicam to record, um, and then I'm just using my audio recorder for the audio portion. Um, at some point, I'll probably try to do both in one. I, I don't know. I like doing it this way because it makes the editing a little bit easier. Um, I can record over and kind of talk to you about what I'm doing. I'm just searching on the other tab real quick on what key Vein Miner defaults to. Uh, that way, we can go ahead and uh, get started because... Uh, it's gonna suck if I don't have vein miner, so I need to get that sorted. That way we can progress. Um, I, I know super boring right now, but uh, we'll get to the to the good stuff pretty quick once we get vein miner figured out. 
Um, with that being said, uh, I know this is a little bit newer channel. A lot of people play these kind of games, things like that. But uh, I'm hoping that I can, you know, get some appeal, uh, play for you, show you how to go through the pack, things like that. Give you some ideas, perhaps, on uh, what I use to go ahead and uh, set up my base and things that I'm working towards. I mean. I definitely want to get some sort of sorting system set up, things along those lines. Um, not always the easiest. So, or excavation is what it looks like, is going to be what we're looking for. So, I'm just customizing the key binding so it will go. I'm going to set it to grave and see. It looks like it's just that that has grave, but I'm just double checking. So, We'll give it a shot see if it works now hopefully if it does it will mine the entire tree and we'll be good so oops go back in here take a look at the quest better questing that's what's on grave so i'm going to change that over to uh i don't know divide why not never use that key okay now we should be able to vein mine third time's the charm Fourth time is a charm. <laughs> uh, fifth time? There we go. All right. So it was only for one block extra, but did vein mine. We'll do this whole tree this time, though. Shift, get that to grow up, and then we're going to vein mine the whole tree. Look at that. So much better. Just chops the whole thing down. You can get the saplings, whatever. Um, I'm going to get some planks real quick, get the basics out of the way, build a crafting bench, get it into the station, build some basic tools perhaps, to uh, kind of get moving along um, with this. I don't really care about these guides, but I'm going to make some tools just because it's going to make things a lot easier. Get a couple crooks, that way I can start getting some more saplings. They become important when you need dirt, things like that. So very, very smart to try to get them early some axes because wood is kind of the first big resource that you need. I'm just going to check these stupid manuals off. They just take up space. I don't really need them. And uh, yeah, whatever. If I ever want them, I can make them again. Uh, but yeah, so we've got that. We need to get some apples and then we can build an apple tree sapling uh, so you can get infinite apples basically. But that's how you use a crook. gets all the leaves. Then you can chop the wood and keep going, so you get a lot more saplings when you crook the leaves, so it's worthwhile to do it. Um, I'm just going to build up some wood first and, and see what I can do. Um, really need to get some apples are important to get that quest A, and then once I get a apple tree sapling, um, I can go ahead and uh, have infinite apples, basically. They just grow off of the tree and then that'll be a food source so I don't have to worry about farming too too much right away. Um, you can cook the apples and they give you a lot of food and things like that so it's worth doing. Um, the other thing I like about this is it has uh, the inventory tweaks. I believe it's the mod that does it but it auto adds the same tool if you uh, break it while you're using it. Um, pretty sweet I think anyway. Uh, yeah, so this is going to be the first little bit of the series, you know, just farming wood, leaves, apples, basic stuff like that. Um, we'll get some more cobblestone going here in a little bit, but I want to get this quest knocked out so I can try to get some more advancement. If you put more trees together, you can kind of like make a super tree and get more wood at a time. So see, I grow all those trees up and then it chops all three. So, a little bit faster. We got one apple, so I think you need three in order to make an apple tree sapling. Um, so we'll just keep going and see if we can get enough to grow an apple tree sapling. Then we'll grow the apples off of that. It's worth it. Um, you know, then don't have to worry about food as much because that's what Vein Miner uses. But we're getting close to the end of this uh, first little session. Um, I don't know, my plan with this is to try to do two, three episodes, give you about 30 minutes worth of content every time I upload. So uh, let me know if that works, if you want more or less, whatever. Uh, just leave it, leave it down in the description. But until then, bye.